I hope you're ready for another cake painting tutorial because that is what I have coming for you today in this video. Here in Philly, it is still pretty warm out and I imagine it will be for at least the next month or so, but it is one day away from September or it will be when I publish this video. So I feel like September is the go ahead to just start doing all the fall things, leaves, pumpkins, apples, all that kind of stuff. And I am all about it. So today I think I'm gonna do a painted fall leaves cake and then also thinking I might do some cool little piping designs, but we'll see how it turns out. All right, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is mix up my paint colors and look, I just reorganized all my food coloring. It looks so satisfying. I'm going to mix my different buttercream colors on the back of a sheet tray with my trusty old palette knife and I'm using Swiss meringue buttercream today. This is just what I had left over after frosting my cake and that should be plenty. So I'm gonna stir that up and start coloring. I mixed some basic red, orange, yellow, and brown to start, and then I also just went back and adjusted each color a bit and mixed in a little brown with the other colors because I didn't want them to be too bright. Now for my blank canvas, here is my frosted cake, and I did let it chill in the fridge ahead of time so that this base layer of frosting is nice and firm and it'll be easy to paint on. The first leaf that I'm painting here is going to be a maple leaf, and what I'm doing is just positioning each of the points of the leaf and then I'm going to go back and connect everything. And notice I just moved the cake towards the edge of my turntable so don't forget that you can move the cake around if you're having trouble with the angle that you're trying to paint at. In this case the cake is a bit smaller than the size of the turntable so I was bumping into the edge of the turntable um, with the cake in the center so I just moved it out to the edge and that made it a lot easier. If you're using a tapered palette knife like this one that I have, you can press it straight down onto the cake and then drag away from the tip and that's going to give you those points on the end of each leaf. You can also go back and sort of push into the points that are already painted if you want them to extend out a bit further. So that's kind of how I'm approaching this leaf. I'm just painting a basic shape first and then going back in and adding more where I need it. To paint the stem of the leaves, you wanna pick up a really thin line of buttercream on the edge of your palette knife. Then you can just tap that line into place, straight on, and then right off the cake again. Now let's skip ahead to the next leaf design. <laughs> I'm not really sure what these are supposed to be. Oak leaves, maybe? Anyway, I'm just going to paint some skinnier leaves now with rounded ends. And I'm using a similar motion to what I use for the maple leaves. I'm basically just pressing down and dragging the palette knife away from the tip. The difference for these leaves is that before I start to drag the palette knife, I'm wiggling it around a bit to get that rounded edge. And it also does help if you're trying to go for rounded edges to pick up a little bit of extra buttercream on the very end of your palette knife. And even though this is a different shaped leaf, I'm following that same process again of starting with the edges, connecting everything, and then filling in with extra buttercream to get the final shape. Now I'm gonna fill in between the bigger leaves with these smaller brown ones. Same idea as before, I'm starting with a point and then I'm just gonna gradually fill in the shape of the leaf. For these brown leaves, I'm also painting them in groups of two or three. Since they're so much smaller, I just think it looks a little more balanced that way. All right, and this next part I'm gonna be calling doodles for lack of a better word. I was looking around on Pinterest and I saw a bunch of pictures of these fun little crafts where people were drawing or painting on fall leaves with little line designs. So I was thinking it might look cool to incorporate something like that onto my cake. So I'm going to be using brown and orange since I kind of forgot to use orange for the leaves, 
with a number two round tip, which is just a pretty small round tip to pipe the lines and dots all around the cake. I wasn't really sure about these doodles when I first started. I honestly thought maybe I kind of ruined it, but my philosophy with these kind of things is to just keep trucking along and adding more and more until it starts to look good again. And I think it kind of worked. Also, when in doubt, add dots, lots of dots. For some reason, I think piping small dots always makes everything look fancier. I don't know why that is, but if you're writing or painting a design or piping a design, small dots for some reason always make it look better. If you're looking for other fall cake design ideas, I did a really fun fall leaf cake last year with a homemade stencil. So go ahead and check that video out if you wanna try something a little bit easier than painting. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.